We know, of course, that one of the, the disciplines of Lent that we are called to focus on in these days is prayer. And we hear a lot about prayer in both of our readings today as we move ever closer to the passion of our Lord and prepare to enter Holy Week and these sacred mysteries, we are reading more and more from those final discourse words of Jesus recorded in the Gospel of John. He points out over and over again that battle between light and darkness, living in God or choosing to live in the world. That battle goes on in every human heart the struggle that we face every day to live in Jesus Christ and his grace or to choose sin. Our selfishness and pride can get in the way very often of the call to our intimacy with God. And that's what Jesus is reminding us of in the gospel today. He points out to those who have rejected him that they do not have God in their hearts. They do not believe the word that was sent, the word that is Jesus himself, as well as his teaching. In prayer, Jesus reminds us, is that call to be intimate, to be in communion with the Father, the one who has created us and desires our salvation, we need to come to know so that we can grow in love. That's the call of prayer. And we know if we're honest, you know, prayer for us can sometimes become rather routine. We tend to pray when we're really in trouble, when we need something, and we, we tend to do all the talking. That's not the kind of prayer Jesus wants from us. We're called to pray with all our heart in silence, in contemplation, allowing God to speak to us. He already knows what we need. We don't have to ask him. He holds us in the palm of his hand, and as we come to him, we're called to grow in communion, to allow the love that God has for us to fill our hearts, give us strength, and ultimately that communion will help us to be obedient to his will. That's what Jesus calls us to do. And we know that that kind of prayer is powerful. Just listen to Moses. God is frustrated with the people of Israel because of their disobedience, their hard-heartedness, and certainly Moses, who has given his whole life to lead them from Egypt to the Promised Land, is over and over again disappointed with the response of those people who complain bitterly, who worship other gods, who forget the goodness and mercy that God has showered upon them, and in today's account from Exodus, even though they deserve the wrath and punishment of God, Moses prays for the mercy, the kindness, the compassion of the Lord to continue to bless his people. He knows the love that God has for everyone, all of his children, unconditionally. And that love is the force that will help us every day if we allow it to. To help us to overcome our sins, that's what Lent is about, to turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. The call of God to each of us every day. May these holy days of Lent continue to call out to us to grow more deeply in our intimacy with God, especially through our prayer, to make time for prayer, to pray regularly and often throughout the course of our day so that we can come to know deeply in our hearts what God is calling out for us to do and that call that invites us to true communion with him. He promises to be with us to give us strength, and to enable us to do all that he has asked. It is through that gift of intimacy with God that will help us to navigate our way through this life 
to gain eternal life in his kingdom.